But hello everybody and welcome to the to my Hearts of Iron 3 walk oh well, let's play. Um I am back of course, a Roman Spearman. I am here again, guys. Any of my subscribers out there, I'm back and I'm gonna play some Hearts of Iron Yugoslavia. Um so first thing I wanna recollect on for everyone that I have been missing episodes is because of um I've been really busy with my personal life and many other things. And uh, this is not going to be a daily series, it's probably going to be a weekly series, probably one episode a week will be posted, but uh, hopefully it's worth the wait. Um, comment in the section below if you if you like seeing this, of course, because I just love to hear your commentary about uh, if you think I'm doing good, or if you have suggestions, or something like that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to reorganize the whole Yugoslavian military force. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the core, or where, let's see the armies. Now do I have, no, I have an HQ, and then I have another HQ up here, I believe, because there's two theaters. No, there's only one theater. Okay, good, that makes my life so much easier. And so, let's see, there, do we not have an army? Uh, I believe we do not. So let's make an army. First army, first army group. Put you under Bureaugrad. Bureaugrad is going to have this is defensive doctrine. We're going to put you as the commander in chief. And you're going to be second in command. Actually, we're not going to put Kozik. We're going to put Nedic. Uh, hopefully, my microphone quality is also good because I got a new mic. And uh, also, uh, a new recording program, so you can kind of tell you can see my FPS, not stupendous in the corner, but it's it's something. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to be back, guys. Hopefully you guys are happy to see me back and uh, live. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Uh, that army... Oh, and by the way, guys, I will not be, of course, continuing my World War One Let's Play, um... That state save is long gone, and all that stuff, so well, let's just have fun with this one, you know? And, uh, like I said, please comment if you enjoy it, and if you, and if you, uh, keep wanting to see it, just like, and, uh, if you're new my, to my channel, or welcome to my channel, uh, hopefully the people here are nice for you, and, of course, myself. So, we're gonna mobilize, so that we can get some more effective laws, uh, we're gonna have some pretty bad uh, dissent, um, so let us... Just put that into effect right here. Let's go right to there. Put a hold it there. All right, let's put us to speed probably five. Sounds good. Let's put us to zero production because we're not producing anything. However, our manpower is not that bad actually. We're doing pretty quite well in reinforcements and all that stuff. Now, I want them to be on a attacking stance to Albania, because I want to take out Albania first thing. First off in my game, without cheats or anything, but I would just I want to take out Albania. Because Albania is the smallest threat we have, but at the same time, we could take them out quite quickly. So let us increase our threat against them. Um increasing our threat will make us have less, I believe, neutrality towards them. Which of course will help us in the long run. Uh, volunteer, mobility, mobilization, massive education, state press, basic training. What, what, what more efficient laws can we? Uh, we cannot. So, game, you are lying to me. Um, technology, of course. Um, let's put some. Okay, we have some espionage. So let's put that into espionage a little bit more. <clears throat> so let's go to light tank brigades. Let's get some light tanks. And we do have fighters, correct? Yes, we do. Not very good fighters, but we have fighters. Let us research small arms, which I'm going to put two into the ed research tab. And we will be done this year with light tanks. So that's always good. Uh, our officer corps needs to recover, of course. Although we have a good amount of officers uh, covering up our officer corps. Um, let's see here, of course, I forgot to do something, diplomacy, automatic trade, you never really want to deal with trade, it's so annoying, unless you're like a, a country at war, then you kind of want to micromanage the, um, the deals that happen, 
Um, so our military is moving towards the border with Albania, which is very good. We are mobilizing, which is even better. So we're going to need to put a lot into production, in my opinion, of reinforcements. However, we're going to keep the supplies going. This, uh, consumer goods is a... There's no option there. We have to keep it like that. <clears throat> I want to take out Romania as well, but I feel like that would be a, ma a bigger challenge towards us. And so I just want to take out Albania first, because they seem like the less of a threat. Um, let's see here. We have 74 out of... We need 0.11. How much do we need to declare war on Bulgaria? We need 0.9. So we need we have a higher chance of war with Albania than Bulgaria. For now. Until, of course, we join a faction. And whenever we join a faction, I will actually willingly join the Axis on a higher chance of Axis or the Allies. I do not want to join the Common Turn. Because I'm not a communist supporter in this game. I don't want to be a communist supporter. But you never know. Like You guys can also help me decide that in the comments. Uh, if you want me to be Common Turn, Axis, Allies, either one. But I'm not going to drift towards any factors um, by myself choosing today. Uh, I am going to lower reinforcements down a little bit. And we're just going to keep production at zero. Because we do not require any production. And we are going to put a good amount of stuff into reinforcements still. However, I do not believe we are going to require many soon. Because it looks like our military is getting up and, up and running. <clears throat> I believe by the end of mobilization, though, we will have about a hundred thousand troops, but that's what I think we'll, we will have. But um, maybe less. I'm not sure. Okay, we have troops on first on, first army group. We have a, our first army leader. Okay, how about second army? Second army does have Kosick. Okay, Bureaugrad. Who? Okay, you have good skill, good traits. Yeah, we're gonna keep Loxa in command. Uh, it might be a while, guys, before we go to war, because I don't want to play this game with cheats. And so, uh, yeah. Hmm. So all we're going to be doing is just building up pretty much the whole time. So we're also going to re have to research construction and engineering. That's going to be very important as well. 1940. Darn, dude. That's a long time. Uh, that's a good, that's a good deal. 1936, October. Um... Convoy, ministers, who are your ministers? I believe they are a monarchy, if I'm correct. Yes, Zog the First is their king. Um, let's see here. Increased threat, counter espionage. No. Hmm. Seems okay. <clears throat> I was sick recently, guys, also, so my throat is a little bit uh, dry on occasions like that. I need to get a drink sooner or later. Not right now, but later on throughout the day. I will probably need one. Uh, but yeah, there's not really much to talk about right now this exact moment. Because all my military is just mobilizing and moving to the border. And so, uh, I guess I can just say by myself, well, for the last five months, guys, I've been kind of busy with life, like I said. And uh, pretty happy with it, too. And I'm, hope I'm happy that I can come back. And hopefully you guys are happy I'm back. And... Uh, yeah, just give me that support, and uh, I'll be very happy to keep going on with this, because just that support. I, I've been looking at the videos recently, and it looks like it's been a lot of people are uh, starting to like be like, oh, it seems like he's a good guy, so it just makes me happy that somebody enjoys my content. Uh, Italy has actually, right now, finally something else, has enforced puppet on Ethiopia. And Ethiopia, if none of you know, is an African country that is uh, on the, I believe, I believe Cape Horn? I think that's Cape Horn, I'm not sure, and uh, but it's not on Cape Horn, but it's near it. It's actually the only empire ex that's never been conquered except by the Italians and their whole history of humanity, of being an empire, which quite intrigues me, because it's an empire that's lasted so long through colonization and all that stuff, and until the 1930s when they got conquered. It just fascinates me that they can last that long. Um... Yeah, not much else. I mean, what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go through Albania, and then I'm going to hit Bulgaria, and then I'm going to go south probably to Greece, or I'm going to puppet Turkey. I might puppet Turkey to keep the uh, 
Soviets to my east a little quiet on the eastern front. Then I'm going to hit Romania and uh, probably hit Hungary after that. Although Hungary will probably be in the Axis powers by that time. And so, uh, yeah, we're confident, we're confident. Are we really confident in what pushing them back? That's impressive. Uh, Albania, hopefully, <laughs> one infantry. We need one infantry division. <laughs> well, I, I won't be a problem to produce at all. I would be quite actually happy to do that, but, uh, yeah, let's put our, uh, infantry reinforcements to that number. So that we can keep it down, because I don't want to use all my manpower. Let's just start, uh, regrowing it back. Because, <clears throat> uh, we don't actually get a lot of a gain of manpower, and so we're going to need it in the future in the long run. So it's always a good thing to have. Um, these are, of course, going to be done soon, thankfully. And we have 26 spies. My gosh. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to send them to countries like the UK and places like that and steal technology. Because you never know when that could be a benefit. So we're going to go to Italy. We're going to make priority. And we are going to... Uh, tech espionage because I really want their technology in anything actually like light armor artillery carriages I prefer industrial stuff or um, agriculture or supply production but if they can't do that well then it's best best that I get something like we're gonna steal stuff from the Soviet Union as well because the Soviet Union is uh, not a tech superpower but at the same time they're not bad <coughs> of course from the U.S. also we're going to steal technology because I believe they will be pretty high tech and of course UK in the end. Ooh, a parliamentary scandal. Uh, last week we had the dis displeasure of disclosing certain suspect activities related to a prominent figure in the government. This week the minister's Minister Concern failed to make a public speech, denying his involvement in the scandal. However, an expert reporter of one of the national radio stations managed to press the minister into more and more or less confessing that he has not only lied to the public about his, about his involvement, but also has he has been lying in front of the high court on several occasions. Our political specialists tell us that the most that this most probably will lead the head of government to reshuffle re his, his cabinet. So uh, that's an okay and bad thing at the same time. Because that means I have to deal with the um, threat of, uh, I, I'm not really rebels, but at the same time, like, I kind of have to deal with more. <laughs> uh, let's raise our national unity. But at the same time, I need to get our goods up because, yes, that's not good. I didn't want to go that <laughs> up anymore. Like that Russian Let's Play, whoo that was bad. With that, uh, <laughs> the amount of dissent that I gained, and I lost so much industrial capacity throughout the period of game. Uh, upgrades? What are they? I believe these go to the soldiers. Require new equipment. Yes, that is. Uh, 11. Yep. That is, that's good. We gotta get our troops the most advanced equipment. Oh, he's not even in our military. So we're gonna put you on him. Ooh, that's not good. Like, maybe I did miss some people. Who knows? <clears throat> Let's see. Anyone here? Ooh, I missed you too. Maybe that's why I, th I thought I had a low number of troops. Yeah, there we go. Maybe that's why I thought I didn't have enough troops. Like, there. There's another division just ready to be put into a brigade. Or not, not a brigade, but like a, a core. Look at that. More and more. Surprise, surprise. There's more troops. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right there too. 150 kilometers away. It's a long way. My lord, this motor was really badly structured. I'm just looking at it. Uh, let's increase our efforts to track them down. Okay, there's another division. My lord, we had a lot of troops in the north. I don't know the cavalry, but some. And there we go, 133k. That's what I thought I always had. Okay, that's always good. <coughs> um, let's see, let's see. Just efficient laws, more efe efficient laws. I have to get, what is this again? I don't remember what this is. Maybe it's dipl diplomatic influence? How much of this, how much of that do I have? Uh, there's something here that makes me know what this is, this number. Uh... Oh, well, that's good. I can maybe get some mixed industry. Uh, full mobilization does not help. 
Give me a second lot watch or time stop watch. We're gonna just fix the laws and then we'll be done with the this first video, of course, because I just want to get these laws set up. Uh, let's do. Mm -mm. This is a better scenario. We're gonna do f money minus. So we're gonna get more IC from those laws. All right, guys. Uh, we also stole carrier air group, light cruiser, and coastal fort. That's actually a really big benefit. And then we got those two. All right, guys. So, oh crap, my, my consumer goods. Okay. So, guys, uh, it's been nice catching up with you again. And this is a new series of Yugoslavia. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you all later. See you guys. Hope you you um comment down there in the section below. And uh, yeah, talk to you there. See you guys.